Alright, I think I'm recording, so I'm going to start. Um, this is to show off a tool that I'm making just to help me do modular parts faster. Before, with all the modular parts that I had, well, that I have, I had to manually put them together, and that takes a while. If I can find it modular house alright so I have all these modular pieces this is just basic parts of a house you got the corner outdoor corner you got roof tiles all that crap static mesh there we go so pretty much these are the pieces of a house modular house that I tried to put together a while ago but the issue I had was putting them together was a bit of a pain so what I did is just took the basic principles of a room structure or a house structure square in nature and I made a blueprint if I can find a blueprint well actually no all classes I made a C++ class of these three objects the first one's a smart tile the smart tile pretty much has the different parts for a actual smart tile so this would be just one piece that I would drop into the ground I have settings that I can change the position and the mesh type for each of these meshes that's put inside of a level that I showed a video of before that has all the options for being able to replicate that single tile across an array and then we have the actual building gen which takes all of those levels and put it together into something that I can manipulate if I go down here to the blueprint that I put together for this object if I can read blueprint turn it off blueprint blueprint smart objects there we go alright so I have this blueprint I'm gonna drag it out it's not gonna do anything right now but inside my mesh list I pretty much have an array of mesh types which are all my parts of my building from internal walls to external walls things like that and here I have the number of floors I can control the dimension of the building or level if it's a dungeon whatever it may be and also have the unit size for the actual modular part for this all of my modular parts are 500 by 500 by 500 this is just for test purposes I'm gonna probably make something that's more of a 1000 height or probably proper meters in the long run but this is just my test um, I can go through set the number of heights my material isn't displaying correctly for some reason but and also I don't have a proper roof so my rooftop is nothing but a floor so you won't see that if I go down I have a level I have a second level go up then I have a roof level I can go in here in the content browser or scene organizer whatever I can roll these down I see the different different parts of my level and if I go in here I see the different parts of my tile but the way I've set this up you can just have this with all the other objects linked to this main control point but you can also come in and click in each individual control point which I'm going to show in a second so right now I'm just going to make a house um, make a 5 by 10 somewhat big house crap alright I want a door I can go here minimize this I can change this to a external wall I'm mean an external door I'm going to go around I have issues with my right click button but let's see I'm going to go around make some random windows I hate this mouse. 
click 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 make these windows now I'm gonna make some updates to this to where kinda like maybe Sims I think I think Sims has it where if you have a multi-story building that you can hide the rest of the levels that you're not working on so you can easily work with it but right now I'm just putting this out here for people to play around with also for some of the people in the um, the Unreal community page just trying to do something like this as well they can see how I have this working and play around with it all the good stuff ah just right click I'm, I'm gonna buy a new mouse just driving me crazy alright click 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 Move that. Click, click. Also, um, I'm gonna have the ability to also like, just so it's not making square buildings all the time, to either read a template or to be able to like, you know, take this wall and take this little center control point this here, and I'll be able to drag it out. And when I drag that out, it'll drag out a portion of the building and all the sec and make a new building segment so we can make you know or push it back in you know to make different building shape type things not very good at English today alright so I have the inside of my building I'm gonna make some walls here I need to slow down my camera movements so I can go in here I can set this internal wall type to a wall internal flip those to middle right mid that way I can just make a little segment over here I add some stairs here go upstairs click and this roof is in my way so I want this to have no floor click so I can walk upstairs see a little open crap Mm, of course, I guess my modular pieces aren't perfect because now they're bleeding through the other floor, but uh, when I actually make the real assets, that can easily be fixed. But pretty much, I can just go through and make all kinds of rooms, things like that, easier, faster, however I please. Click, 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 click. I'll make all these a wall. Make them snap to the side. My brain cut off. No, they're already walls. I want them to switch to the middle right mid. Make this into a door. Door internal. And you know, you just go through and just change any of these pieces to a corner or anything that you want to make really. And a lot easier and a lot faster than dragging and drop each of these little pieces on the ground and I really hate my mouse but this is a start at least please mouse stop that All right. and if I actually had a rooftop that was not another floor module you'll see a completed roof here as well um, I think that's about it for this that should get people started with that part. Um, everything should be controllable and modelable from this little panel here. If you reset it, it's going to reset the whole building. Stop it. It's going to reset the whole building and pretty much start you back at square one. I could make changes in here, but I just add that reset button to be able to wipe everything instead of trying to keep all the changes if you change your dimensions that means obviously you want to reset the whole thing outside of trying to do you know what I'm going to have later where you can actually pull out a section and things like that to actually modify the interface not changing the root shape of the entire building by changing these you know these initial stats you know I think I can go up to like 30 by 30, something 
completely ridiculous. Now I have a giant, giant, giant building of whatever this could be. 